Good evening, everyone. It's Gina. I am in the kitchen again, as usual. And tonight, we are going to be making tuna noodle casserole. This is one of those dishes. Either you like it or you don't. What you're going to need. Now, this is for my size family, a smaller family. You're going to need a couple of cans of tuna. You're also going to need a can of cream of something soup celery, uh, chicken, mushroom, those work. I wouldn't use cream of potato, but cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, or cream of celery would all work in this. You're also going to need some noodles, some salt and pepper, peas and carrots, yum, and you're also going to need a topper of some sort, some chim, uh, chip crumbs, chip crumbs like potato chips, or some uh, cheese cracker crumbs, something like that that you can put on the top to make it taste good. Also, what you're going to need and what I already have going behind me on my stove is a pot of boiling water. You are going to put the pasta, um, it says... To cook it seven to eight minutes, I'm probably going to cook mine six to seven. Then I'm going to take it off, put everything together, and pop it in my oven. At this point, you're also going to want to start preheating your oven so that it'll be hot in time for you to get that. And you're also going to need a pan of some sort to put everything in and a bowl to mix it up in. So once we get these noodles uh, getting going, we'll come back and we'll start mixing everything up. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, y'all, we have got the noodles on, we have got the cans open, and I will go ahead and start putting this together so that it, we're not waiting so long. I have yet to get my uh, pan out to put this in and stuff. Um, for my size family, I only used about a third of the bag of pasta. We don't need that much. Because uh, we're a smaller family, you can always upsize this. If you've got a large family, you can always use the larger size cans of tuna and that kind of stuff if you can find that nowadays. Uh, so, you know, like I said, this all depends on the size of the family you're cooking for as to how much you need of each. So... Or if all you can find are these little cans of tuna and you need to use four or five of them, you know, that's fine. And store brand works just, just as well as the kind I've got here. I know that I've got chicken of the sea and that's what we got at the LDS storehouse. That was what was available to us. So, therefore, that's what we're using. We didn't need store brand because we had that. We're also going to take our cream of chicken, and this also is from the Bishop's Storehouse. So, I'm just, you know, trying to tell you in case you don't, you're like, where, what's that brand? Where is it from? That's where it's from. It's from the food pantry, y'all. Um, and stuff. So... We're also having with this meal some steamed asparagus. My husband does like asparagus. Been wanting some. Um, we got some. And I am going to steam that up for him. I've got one of those little things you put in the microwave that will steam the vegetables. I like it. I've used it plenty of times. Don't ask me if it's BPA free. I would presume so because I've just bought it in the past three or four years. But I couldn't swear to that. But, you know, at this point, a girl's got to use what a girl's got to use. And, you know, that's, that's what we've got. And I got that one on clearance for like $2 or something. So, you know, I, I have to... Use what I got that's affordable for me in my pocketbook. So, now, 
Let me see here. We're getting good on this. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper just a bit. Of course, all this seasoning and flavoring, they're to taste. So they're not, you know, if you don't like a certain seasoning or a se spice or whatever, don't use it. Um, and we are going to put in a little bit of these peas and carrots. It's Best Yet brand. That's actually from the Surefine store up in my area. So, and again, like I said, I'm having some freshly steamed asparagus to go with this. So, um, we are getting some vegetables in here as well. It's not going to be just a crap meal. Because we are trying to add in a few vegetables so that we've got that going on. Alright, I have got to go over and drain my pasta and rinse out these jars. I will be back with y'all in just a minute. Alright everybody, I've got these noodles boiled and drained. And I'm just going to add that into my bowl here. Like I said, I did not put a ton of noodles. I'm trying to kind of do this so y'all can see what I'm adding in here. <laughs> Sometimes I I'm, don't think too well about getting everything good on camera. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to get a little bit better at that and think a little bit more. Um and stuff oops dropped a noodle on my clean counter so yeah and I just kind of mix it through it's one of those quick fairly easy really cheap for us right now um, dinners and stuff but even at that you know this is one of the more economical dinners anyway and then ugh, more noodles I have a small casserole dish here. Let's see, better get those noodles mixed in there. Oh. And you will see me in the same shirt in several videos next week. It is because they are all be being filmed on the same day. I am not wearing the same shirt multiple days in a row. I am not like that. I change clothes every day. So, in case y'all, before y'all ask, Jeannie, you're in the same shirt. Yeah, same day, y'all. Same dang day. I may end up starting to do one to two days a week where I am a little bit more heavy on the videos that way I've got the rest of the week to keep up my house and take care of things that I need to take care of you know sometimes girls got to do that we have to do things in the real world that you know happen and stuff anyway that is perfect size casserole dish sometimes I'm good cheese crackers that I have crushed up and I'm just going to put these on top of here to help give it a little uh, flavor in this casserole again this is not anything that you have to add but it does add a little crunch and flavor to it so I'm and this is also in the effort to, to use up the items that I have on hand because I don't like to waste food. It's way expensive right now. I'm filming this in April of 2022 and food costs have risen about 9% recently and I am not getting into the political side of that with y'all. Just ain't happening. No matter what side of the spectrum you're on, we all have to pay for groceries. So, 
this is going to go in my oven and I'm going to bake it at 350 degrees for about probably 25 minutes ish anyway and I'm going to steam my asparagus on the asparagus I am going to put some butter salt and pepper and some lemon juice uh, if I can remember when I get through with that, I will shoot a little picture or something to show y'all what everything looks like once we get it on the plate. But as always, thank you for joining me in my kitchen. And if you haven't already, click like, subscribe, always leave comments. Y'all know I try to interact with y'all as much as I can um, and respond to people because I'm just like that. I try to acknowledge my subscribers. We've also had another new subscriber or two. I need to write down names. Seems like, let's see, trying to remember the first name. And it's such a common name. But I am going to look that up here in just a minute. And I will um, mention that in my next video. Um, thank you all again so much. I will see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.